Magic Shine might be onto something pretty great here. A rear light plus a built-in connected camera just might equal peace of mind for bike commuters. Late last time, full disclosure, Magic Shine's not paying me for this review, uh, so all the opinions in it are genuinely mine. However, they were nice enough to send me this CMDV light to uh, play with and review. Also, stick around until the end of the video. If you want to get this light or any other Magic Shine light, there's going to be a discount code in it for you. So no scrolling to the end now, okay? Watch the entire thing. I've used Magic Shine product for years now, way before they ever contacted me, which speaks quite a bit to the quality of, of the build. Uh, I'm based in Sweden, so the lights are an integral part of everyday riding, at least in the dark part of the year, which is, let's face it, more than half of it. Now, this is a new product category for me. Uh, I usually go for the really bright front light and often no rear light as that's really not needed in the forest at night when you're riding mountain bikes. Lately I've started commuting to work by bike quite a bit and the focus has shifted to more towards safety, being seen rather than seeing. Enter this CME DV. It's not only a capable rear light, it's also a digital camera. And right about now is where everybody starts associating that light with those crazy dash cam videos from Russia, right? So what's in a box? As usual, Magic Shine has done a pretty great job with the packaging, which makes the unboxing experience just so much better. The uh, CME DV is front and center of the box. You also get an angled mount, a micro SD card, a USB C charging cable, and some instructions. The construction feels solid, like all Magic Shine stuff nowadays. The top is aluminium, the bottom is plastic. I'm assuming for weight savings and for having some place to put the Wi-Fi antenna. Yes, this thing has an app for the camera function and you can connect to it via your phone. The case is IPX6 rated, so I suppose you could hose off the entire bike after a ride with the light still attached. The top has two buttons, one for the camera function and one for the light function. It also has a small battery indicator right there, which will turn different colors depending on what percentage of the battery is left. On one side, there's an opening for a USB-C charging cable. Thank God it's USB-C this time. On the other, there is a micro SD card slot. They both have these tight fitting rubber gaskets that protect the connectors from muck and splashing coming off your rear wheel. The back has this twist mat, which then slots into this angled seat post mount. And that mounts around the seat post with this uh, rubber strap. Now these work really well with a bunch of other CME lights and uh, it, they really don't have any issue with supporting the weight of this one. All right, coffee break. Magic Shine seems to be pushing this idea of side visibility. The RN3000 I reviewed has it. A lot of their other lights have it. And of course, the CME DV has it. Basically, 270 degrees of visibility. Three different light sources, 30 lumen each. One rear facing and one on each side. Now, 30 lumen might not seem like much, but this thing is bright. Bike lanes are often congested and not as regulated as roads, so anything that improves your visibility from all angles is a win. The top button lets you cycle through all the uh, lighting modes. So you've got low, high, that's high flash, and eco flash. Eco flash also turns on when the battery reaches 10%. All right, so what about the camera then? When you power on the light, the camera turns on automatically. So you'll see that indicated by this uh, rotating red ring. You can also turn off the actual camera function and just leave the light function on by pressing the uh, camera button. Now, if you want to use this as a standalone video camera, there's a dedicated camera button at the top. So if you press that, you'll only turn on the video function. And then if you double tap it, it'll take a picture. You can also use the camera through the accompanying phone app. Now on iOS, it's called car DVR and it, it's a relatively simple app. It lets you get a live preview, access camera settings and snap photos and videos. It connects to the uh, light using Wi-Fi, so the transfer speeds are actually pretty decent. Some of the setting highlights include picking between 1080p 30 and 720p 30, setting the exposure and white balance, as well as choosing if you'd like the video to loop or not. So what's the point of a video camera inside a rear light? Well, safety of course. Nothing apart from staying at home is going to keep you 100% safe in traffic, especially when riding a bike. Now, if that driver behind you is scrolling Twitter and happens to rear end you, you want to have video of it to show your friends at the insurance company, right? Now, this is an after the fact measure, which means the light won't warn you of oncoming traffic from behind. Some of the Garmin units with built-in radar will, 
but they play in a whole completely different ballpark when it comes to price. They also need a compatible Garmin head unit, which is going to run you quite a bit of money as well. So both price-wise and feature-wise, those two aren't really comparable. They're very different products. But you see, this built-in camera got me wondering, can you use this for fun? I mean, can you use it to film anything useful and possibly post it on YouTube? Well, technically, yes. Practically, no. L let me elaborate. Most modern smartphones have at least 4K 30 recording and a screen so you can frame all your shots. There'll also be a relatively decent uh, photo camera, maybe not in the dark, but at least they'll produce usable, postable shots. So that's a much better feature package and something that you're gonna have on you when you're mountain biking anyways. Besides, the switch from the uh, looping recording mode on this light to the regular kind of set and forget mode, you need a phone. Now, this really isn't the CME DB's fault. The camera is just specced for a completely different purpose. It's a rear bike light. And it doesn't need to have the, uh, the spec of a GoPro, for example, an action camera. Now also, competing products don't have any higher specs, so Magic Shine's kind of banging the money here. So if this was the only camera I had on me and I really needed to get the shot, sure, I'd, I'd use it, but let's face it, it's not this light's primary purpose. So what about battery life? Well, this thing has a 1600 milliampere hour battery, which at the lowest setting and with the recording turned off, it equates to about 110 hours of runtime. That's a whole bunch of runtime. I've not been able to test it in temperatures below zero, so that might affect the battery life a little bit, but um, in regular kind of spring summer temperatures, battery life is more than enough. Even though it's really hard to convey the actual light output of these things on film, let's head out and show you some real world shots. So who's this product for? Probably a safety conscious commuter or road rider. Uh, this is probably not geared towards mountain bikers. We usually just have a GoPro on our chest or helmet. It's a solidly built rear light with uh, great water resistance and great visibility and a very solid mountain mechanism that has worked on other CME Magic Shine lights. It will not warn you about oncoming traffic from behind like some of the radar enabled offerings will, but then again, it falls very, very short of that price tag as well. According to Magic Shine, the price isn't finalized yet, but for around 130 US dollars, this CME DV is very reasonably priced, actually lower than quite a few of the competitors. Now, in my years of bike commuting, I've never seen anybody get rear-ended though. So, Here's a disclaimer, I do live in Stockholm. Stockholm has a really good network of uh, bike lanes, which is for the most part separate from roads. So you're never gonna find yourself in such a dense traffic situation. Now, for me personally, I don't think that that camera would add too much value. I have, however, been road riding with people where a driver would suddenly rage and just swerve into the group of cyclists and that camera would be a great way to hold somebody like that accountable for their actions. Also, in a more dense urban scenario where the bike lanes aren't separate from car lanes and you'd be swerving through cars, this is coming really handy. And now, the part you've all been waiting for. To be fair, the promo code was in the uh, description all along. So if you want to get this light, the CME DV, or any other Magic Shine light, head on over to their website and use the code HFODT15 for 15% off of your order. If you're interested in any other Magic Shine products, I've done reviews on the RM3000, the front light, the 3000 lumen monster, uh, and also the CME 150 and 200 um, front and rear lights. So you'll find those links in the description below. And if you like this video, you know what to do. Like, share, subscribe, check out some of the other videos I've done. And until next time, keep it rubber side down and stay safe in traffic.